Today we are going to be talking about the importance of putting your face out on social media when you are in business. Now I'm Bex from Social Media Executive and I train businesses how to effectively use social media. And today we've got Nikki with us, Nikki Cameron, who is a photographer and she specializes, well I'll tell you in a minute, but she specializes really helping business owners or people within business to get themselves out on social media. Now it's really, really important in this day and age, how do we stand out on social media? And one of the areas is just by putting our faces out there. It's the only way we can be unique. So Nikki's going to be sharing her tips and advice on how we do that and why it's so important. And also Nikki is part of the social flock as well. Myself and Nikki run, along with um, Sam Blakely, we run a membership group for people who struggle to create consistent consistent and compelling social media so we run a membership group where we all come together whether we procrastinate too much over content we lack ideas or we just need a bit of accountability to get our social media sorted then we run a membership group called the social flock so i will put a link into the chat about that so that you can have a look but the social flock is brilliant we've got some lovely members and we all work together and support each other with our social media to make sure we all get visible. So welcome, Nikki. Thank you. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm Nikki Cameron and I'm a brand photographer. And uh, as Beck said, I specialise in people who really don't want to put themselves out there in front of the camera for many reasons, whether it's because you are body conscious or you just hate looking at photographs of yourself. And I specialise in helping you become visible. And I think, you know, that's just so important, isn't it? In this in this digital age is is being visible. Because oh. I know I we will look, don't we? We look at social media and it's it's so competitive, isn't it? it Whatever is. platform you're on. And one way to really stand out is is by putting your photo on there, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, well, well, you know, you, you want increased engagement on social media. That's what we all want. We want some some engagement, some likes, shares, comments, um, to boost that algorithm and get ourselves seen a little bit more. And one way to do that is by just putting your face out there because the algorithm loves faces, and it um, it will show it even more than just text or um, a graphic or something like that. Loves faces, so that's one good reason. It is, but and it's not just the algorithm, is it? I think I know when I'm looking through my news feed, I'm always going to stop and look at someone I recognise. Oh, totally. Yeah. We are, as as humans, we're actually really, really drawn to faces, and it's mm. part of our um, it's part of our DNA. We, we're drawn to look at faces far more than text. So yeah, and um, so looking at faces, especially people you know, but even people you don't know, it's it's a way of getting to know them, and yeah. it's a way of just showing yourself, um, just making yourself more approachable. Yeah, yeah. Who um, wants to do business with a, a blank little round thing that you get on LinkedIn or, you know, an avatar? They want to see the person. I think that's really, really important, isn't it? It's because a lot of companies sometimes, and I've seen it with smaller companies, they kind of hide behind their brand, their yeah. logo. Yeah. when I mean brand they hide behind their logo their business name and and it's a bit it's a bit faceless it's not it's very sort of corporate it's like this is what we do this is how we can help you there's nothing in there is there about no who are the people who are actually going to help me on a on a one-to-one -one basis or who are going to support me through this process of whatever they're delivering absolutely I mean a brand a brand logo is really important and you know it's part of your identity but I think when you're on social media, people want to see you, um, and especially if you're a small business and um, you're you are the business, or you know yeah. you and a couple of others, then you need to be seen. Um, yeah. You really need to be seen, and it really helps, doesn't it, with that age-old sort of marketing saying it's that no like trust, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it sounds very trite nowadays, doesn't it? Because it's very overused, but it is absolutely true. So they get to know you. Um, they get to see you, they get to like you through your content, through your, 
you know, you, you don't, I mean, you can put yourself out there walking the dog, you can put yourself out there doing anything you want, just get your face out there. And then they get to know, they get to like you, and then they'll get to trust you. Yeah. And it's having, it's sharing some of those shared values, isn't it? Because we all want to do business with people who we feel that we've got a connection to. And yeah. actually, who do we do business with? We don't do business with a logo. We actually do business with whoever's on the end of the phone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, you do. Yeah. And, you know, a personal photo gives that. It's, a, it's about an emotional connection that you get with with a photograph. Yeah. That you don't get with a logo or, or an avatar or a cartoon character in, in your place. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the person you can you can see but it doesn't really matter what you look like either um it, it's just getting your face out there people don't really care in business what you look like you just want to know that you're a really lovely person and that you can do the job that they yeah. want they want doing to the best of that you know your ability um, and it does work because um i know when i was first started out in business i mean i've been in business now for for over seven years can't believe that but basically you know when i first started out i did that you know i used to didn't used to like it particularly but i used to put my face out there um on and tell people you know what i was up to what i was doing what training i was delivering and i had um a client at the time she just approached me and she just went she phoned me up and just went oh hi bex and i'm like thinking oh i don't know this person um yeah uh, when can we start <laughs> and, I, and she says i've seen i've seen you on i think i don't know, i think it's facebook seen you on facebook done this looked at your website um yeah just just want to know when we can start really i need help with xyz and yeah. i was like you're not gonna ask me the price it's <laughs> 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 just like nope i'm ready <laughs> you know and it was just like it was a real eye opener because it was just like oh yeah really? But just building up that trust, isn't it? The best one as actually was a few years ago when um, when I actually walked into, and I'm sure you've got something similar, walked into a, a big networking event at the Manchester airport. And someone, I was walking through the door, we were just registering our names. And this lady came up to me and she went, oh, hi, Bex, you're all right. Craig, you've had a right week. Whew. And she can't started telling me some quite personal information. <laughs> and then she suddenly stopped mid-sentence and went, you don't actually know me, do you? I'm so sorry. I follow you on social media. I feel like you know you. <laughs> That's really funny, isn't it? It's like somebody famous that you think you should know, but you, yeah. you, know, you don't know them at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so so I think as well, you know, and, and again, it, it's really good for engagement, isn't it? It's really good for engagement, yeah. It's really good. You know, if people see you and then they, you know, it's because they know, like, and trust you, then they're more likely to have a chat with you. Um, yeah. yeah. And it's having that chat on your post, isn't it? If you get chats on your post, then that's brilliant, isn't it? And then, you know, you can chat away and then you can take it into your DMs if, if you know, you want to take it further. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, and I think you've sort of hit the nail on, on the head, really, because a lot of businesses try and drive their, social media traffic to their website oh yeah go through this way but actually if you can get a direct message through your linkedin your facebook your instagram whatever social media platform you're on you've captured them there and then haven't you yeah you can have a chat it doesn't have to be i mean you don't go in you don't sell obviously but you you can just start chatting to somebody and yeah and see what goes from there yeah yeah and do and yeah so it's just just really pow powerful it's incredibly powerful and it's and it also it's it gives you a lot of confidence in your business in yourself so if you're not that confident about putting yourself out there and you begin to do it then i think you feel more confident you feel a little bit empowered that you're actually doing it you know you're actually putting yourself out there yeah yeah and it i think it builds up your confidence doesn't it over time it really does really does can so say you, myself yeah so you're more the, you, you start putting your posts out there and you just i mean i just felt like i was gonna die the first time i put a picture of me out on social media i was like my goodness what are people gonna think because my background you know i'm an environmental consultant what are people gonna think now i'm doing social media training that's just weird <laughs> but yeah but you so you you've had a similar experience haven't you nikki because you're a photographer now i yeah. work with a lot of photographers and they actually don't like being in front of the camera. 
How do you feel about that? I'm the world's worst, or I was the world's worst. I'm, I, I class myself as a recovering camera shy person. <laughs> 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 so at one point you know a few years ago my kids said to me mum mum if you if you if we haven't got any pictures we just haven't got any pictures of you at all and when you pop your clothes we won't actually know what you look like because I avoided it that much I just wouldn't be on anything because I was always the one taking it and yeah uh, it's never great I didn't really want to be in any photos because I didn't like the way I looked I didn't like they can be cross you can get your double chin and all the rest of it yeah um but when I started my own business and it took me a you know a good couple of years to put myself out there even then you've got to do it you've got to get your face out there so I started um and then I recently I had my own photo shoot and it's honestly the most empowering thing I've ever done and yeah so I call myself recovering and I'm getting there I'm not perfect yeah. but I'm getting there but I see you all over social media now and I think it's it's really good and I think that's one of the reasons why we had a chat didn't we I've seen yeah. you and I just thought actually Nikki would be great in the social flock to help encourage and support our members talk to them about the importance of personal photographs talk to them about the importance of putting themselves out there but it's not that easy is it you know I mean and, and again I think we've seen it seen it of our members in the social flock still some people are like okay yes we need to take photos but still shying away from it so so what would you recommend to someone who is really struggling and is really really quite anxious about putting their photos on social media yeah well, there's a lot of reasons why people don't want to do it and you know it's probably too long to go into today but you you, you just got to be brave um and you know somebody like me can help you a lot uh, I have lots of techniques and tips and tricks to try and you know relax you and um you know for, for, so a lot of my brand photo shoots uh, only about an hour of it is is looking at work stuff a lot of it's behind the scenes so that's how I get you to be a little bit calmer and you know and just relax into the photo shoots and I've had some incredibly nervous people and um you know we've got some brilliant shots out of it because there's, there's ways and means which I'm not going to go into today because that would spoil it for the photo shoot. But you know, it can be done, and um, yeah, it really can. If I if, if if I can do it, anybody can do it. Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's really interesting what you say about that preparation time before the photo is taken. Uh, I remember going yeah. to a photo shoot once. It was a family photo shoot. I'd organised it for my husband's fortieth, and I thought it'd be lovely. We didn't have a group photo from his side of the family we'd had one um previously with my side of the family it was brilliant um and honestly it was the worst experience i've ever had <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was literally well we, we 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 rocked up and um this person didn't have access to his normal studio so i think it was a bit panicky and it was just like go on just sit there right you land and just lined us all up so there was none of that what you're talking about that sort of pre-photo oh, yeah. it was literally we've got an hour right just sit on the sofa smile uh and you know and a lot of uh, people in and you know in Andy's side of the family were quite nervous really quite nervous yeah, so yeah. Just, we've got this photo and I laugh it's like we just look like the Adams family <laughs> no there's a lot of prep goes into it I mean we have you know zoom calls before um the photo shoot and then on the day I always arrive early and we have a cup of coffee and a chat and you know talk you through some of the techniques and yeah it's there's it's a lot of prep goes into it so that you know you're not there put there and need to stand there <laughs> and I don't like posed photographs as well because I think a lot of people who are anxious about photographs don't like posing because yeah. you feel very awkward you don't know what to do with your teeth you don't you don't know what yeah. to do with your, your face you don't, you don't know what to do your hands yeah. yeah your shoulders are like that and no. um, so I'm I'm more I know I definitely start off the photo shoots with lots of natural shots and just walking and talking to a friend talking to your dog talking to you know just just really calm and yeah Friendly and mainly more candid ones to start with until you relax into the photo shoot and everybody does yeah 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 well that's because of your sort of support isn't it you know and that's I hope so I mean, I'm pretty you... calm I'm pretty relaxed and you know nothing phases me mm. on a photo shoot and uh, so yeah it's um yeah it's good yeah it's all good 
And it is, you know, I mean, and these sort of informal shots are brilliant for social media, aren't they? You know, yeah. those just really informal shots that can tell a story behind what you're doing, um, how you found, found, you know, why you set up in business, but really showing that sort of informal side of you rather than a straight sort of grinning headshot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why I mean that's why most of the time is taken up with with background photos, sort of mm. like, you know, life I don't like calling them lifestyle shots, but you know, sort of behind the scenes shots of you at home or with friends or whatever. And it just really gives an insight into your character, which again forms that emotional um connection with your audience. Yeah. But, and it, you know, if you're a runner, say and we get some of you running, it, you might attract people who who run. So just because you've shown a picture of you running, you it's, you attract people, you know, who do what you do. So, yeah, 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 and helps build up that trust. Doesn't helps it helps build up that yeah that whole picture of you rather than just the faceless, you know, corporate sort of headshot like you were talking about. I mean, headshots do come into it, and yes, headshots are in the shoot. But again, I try not to get you to to do the the pose, the headshot pose, <laughs> <laughs> to get you more naturally laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. It's just a nice natural one. And if people, you know, so obviously I'll put your details in the chat, Nikki, um, that, you know, if people want to do a professional photo shoot, but not everyone might not want to do a professional photo shoot. So do you sort of have any tips of if they were just taking a photo on their phone, for example, just for a social media post? I mean, I think I'd recommend if it was certainly for, if it was for the website and professional stuff, you, you do need to look at professional photos. But if they were just looking at sort of just, social media posts? Just, I mean, I would suggest to get a family friend, to, a family or a friend to do it um, rather than a selfie. I mean, if you're good at selfies, that's absolutely fine. And, and you know, it's up quite a lot of people are. But if you're not great about it, try and get, um, you know, a partner or a friend to do it. And then they can make you laugh and, and yeah. uh, at the same time and then take yeah. the photograph. Just take a set. You don't have to take one and then just take a whole set of them and then you can use them you know one at a time choose which ones you want yeah, yeah. and i think that's it is like having a selection and i always say take the photo from a little bit higher if you do so if you're doing a selfie but if you're doing it from lower you get a great chin shot straight up the nose don't you i am the world's worst selfie taker so don't ask me for any tips on selfies so thank you for that yeah <laughs> yeah uh, and just yeah and, yeah just uh, I've seen some hilarious ones. I should maybe sh should share some of those, but it's just really sort of capturing it. A, a photo, we're never going to be happy with our photos, are we? I don't think, you know, I think that's important to stress. We're never going to be happy with them, but we've just got yeah. to be brave. Yeah. And I always say, you know, we hate our photos. I hate watching videos of me, like these live streams. But I always say, at the end of the day, these are our faces that people love, aren't they? And they are, yeah, yeah. And we, you know, it is. There's a lot of psychology behind it, and I've really enjoyed delving into that recently. Um, and again, that's far too long to go into now. But yeah, we we we're, we're conditioned from with with old beliefs that we don't look good in photos, and it's yeah. really simply not true. So if you know, you have 15 friends and there's a photograph of you and they all go, oh, you look absolutely fabulous, Bex. And you go, oh, but my chin, my teeth, and all over. You know, who's telling the truth? Is it the 15 friends or is it your yeah. brain? Yeah. Mm, there's a thought. <laughs> and I always say you would never go and greet customers or never go to a networking event with a bag on your head, would you? <laughs> 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 so well, what's the no. difference with social media? Let's uh, let's Let's be brave. So again, well, well, hopefully we've inspired you all to be a little bit braver when it comes Hope to so. yeah. going out there and getting your photos. Any any parting words, Mickey? Well, I just share your contact details in the chat. Yeah, if anybody would like to come um, and have a branding photo shoot with me, um, it would be lovely. You'll have a good time. You will not be anxious. <laughs> You'll not be worried. Um, just drop in, into my DMs on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever you are. And uh, we can have a chat. And if you need more help and support as well, you will find Nikki in the social flock, um, giving you lots, lots more help and support to our members when it comes to really putting ourselves out there and also being brave and having the support of our fellow flockers, as we call them, to really help us get out there. Well, thanks, Nikki. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you're watching this on Catch Up, please do post any comments in the chat. We will 
come back to you if you've got any questions thanks to zoe today for saying hello uh, again do say hello in the chat and uh, we will see you again next week 12 30 live it's always 12 30 even if Streamyards tries to tell us otherwise <laughs> <laughs> so sorry for the mix-up today guys but we will see you all again soon and please do give us give us a like and uh, we'll see you next week thanks, thanks bye, bye. bye.